The idea for Grand Friends came when I was watching the successful ABC TV series, Old People's Home for Teenagers. And in watching it, I thought to myself, oh, I'd love to do something like that for Unley. What we wanted to get out of the Grand Friends program is a bringing together of two generations of people who don't necessarily have a lot to do with each other to help them to find out that they have more in common than they realise. Don't try to underthrow it. Right? Well, I thought this was self My name is Willow. I'm in Year 6 and I go to Mercedes College. I really wanted to just make more friends, just to make new relationships with older people because I don't I've only got one more grandparent now and just communicating with other people I find important. Oh, Megan, no, God, I used to love that. I love it, it's amazing. Um, I've met so many new people and it's fun to find other people just like me. Um, definitely I have bonded with Kay um, EXO in the, as in the first session, um, for a look now, mostly everyone actually. Well, we've got some great, great skills on display, we've had some great um, culinary skills over here from James and Willow, we've got some interesting tin, tin opening techniques here, uh, but the main thing that we've seen here today is everyone's working together as a, as a team. Um, and I think enjoying the experience. It's really important to learn about nutrition because when we're fueling our body for our daily activities or exercise, uh, so we have the right energy in our bodies and we don't get lethargic later on in the day. In terms of our life changer pillars and the overlap with the Grand Friends program, our first session with our Grand Friends participants was revolving around our tribe pillar, which was all about forming connections with each other. Our second session was lawn bowls at Sturt Bowling Club, and that was revolving around our skills pillar and developing different skills, and we're always learning. Our next session, the acts of service at Dimmick's Books, which was um, for a charity called Lily's Books, uh, that was about purpose and finding your own purpose in life and what that means to you and volunteering is a great way of showing that and our fourth session was cooking which is all about health and learning how to cook healthy meals for yourself making sure your nutrition and movement recovery is all in check and then our fifth session was getting to know yourself a bit better and that was shown really beautifully through our dot painting with Mickey Barlow and we all um, did had our own story um, in the dot painting. I'm doing like some dot painting and, and um, I just like done like things that I like and added on like just my life story onto the artwork. Halfway between where that black line starts and where it ends. Okay. Yes, do that. I might think you're cool. We're not getting in our team. Getting to know people with a big age difference, um, who are probably a bit scared sometimes, and, and I guess the older people are too, so I'm looking forward to changing that. Interesting. I wasn't sure if there would be um, a separation of the ages, but there wasn't. Um, and I found that the young guys to be is so intelligent and so accommodating it was uh, and so eager to talk to us which I was quite surprised I think that we that we were actually keen to talk to the younger generation um, about things that interested them because they were interested in us and I think that was the most important thing for me Bruno Mars I like uh, Versace on the floor it's made me realize that that the younger generation does have a lot to offer and there isn't a gap between us and them. They're like not very different, like you can find many things in common with like other people if you just like, yeah, put in the effort and like learn to like know who they are and, 
and that. It's good to like know a new like sport and like the way to do it and that. I'm looking forward to pizza and um, I'm looking forward to like the next sessions like the cooking class and that. We know that connection is key and we see a lot of youth coming through our programs that might not have many connections with older people in their lives, might not have their grandparents around. And we thought it would be a great chance to get the intergenerational um, people mixing and working together. So um, by developing the intergenerational program, we were able to get the two generations mixing together and forming strong connections that they can hopefully have in the future. They were all super engaged and they didn't want the sessions to end. They're just, they're a lot like us, like in the same way. They're just obviously a couple generations, but they have a lot of experience and wisdom, which has been good to sort of like relate back to and see, yeah, you get to know them a bit more. Kerry and I have been like really close the past couple of weeks. I do love Kerry. She's very sweet and very kind and she's always like there to talk to her. I've learned like to sort of open myself up, take new opportunities because I've been able to find myself sort of here. Um, for grand friends I was sort of a bit shy, not really wanting to be out there but I think if more kids got involved with programs like this it would actually benefit a lot more people. It's I think like I've learned so much new things, it's a great experience. Um, definitely would do it again and I highly recommend to anyone to do it. It's definitely a good opportunity to take. I'm Pat and I have just had my 83rd birthday. I sort of miss young people. So when this came up I thought it'd be lovely to meet some young people again. I think the program has been very good in incorporating um, different activities for everyone to get into. My name's Susie Tugut uh, and I'm mum to Chloe and Saskia Tugut. I raised it with the girls and they were both really keen to participate. Yeah, I really think they're enjoying the interaction. They've not been so great at lawn bowls, but I think they've enjoyed the actual experience of being out there and, and having a go and trying something different. Yeah, I think it's been a brilliant program. Um, I'm really glad I came across it. I think it's got a lot of merit and a lot of benefit. Um, it's really lovely to have the, the, the different age groups come together and sort of feed off each other and they can both have a lovely, lovely experience together. So I, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, it's wonderful. Please join um, because whether it's an old person or a young person, no matter their age, they can be just like you. So there's nothing to be afraid of. We've had feedback from a couple of the parents and um, the youth themselves saying they wish there was more um, sessions and they want to keep catching up in the future and yeah one of the participants he summed it up that he his word to describe the grand friends was joy and I think that says a lot. The overwhelming sense was they have new connections they've learnt from each other and all positives. When people arrived on the first night, there was a lot of apprehension. I think people were wondering, oh God, what have they got into? Uh, people were a bit nervous, um, but it really didn't take very long into that first session for connections to, tar to take place. And by the end of that first evening, there was uh, laughter and, uh, and hugs goodbye. And by our, our final session, there were um, people of all generations exchanging uh, phone numbers and contact details and starting to talk about how they could stay connected into the future.